minutes ago. Dior slams all rumors. Megan's work ethic doesn't fit our brand. Hello, friends. Welcome to Breaking Royal News about the notorious hypocritical couple Harry and Meghan Markle on our Kate Middleton and the Queen News version 2 channel. Dior concludes discussions with Meghan Markle for brand ambassador role. Dior, the esteemed fashion brand, announces the conclusion of discussions with Meghan Markle regarding her potential appointment as a brand ambassador and model for our extensive collection of dresses. This decision comes after careful evaluation, which included taking into account recent events surrounding Meghan's work ethic and her involvement with podcast production. Specifically, Dior took note of Spotify's recent termination of Meghan Markle's $20 million contract due to concerns regarding her productivity and commitment to producing podcasts. These circumstances provided additional insight into Meghan's work ethic, prompting Dior to reevaluate its potential partnership with her. In light of this assessment, Dior has chosen not to proceed with a collaboration with Ms. Markle. It has also come to our attention that she has consistently expressed negative sentiments toward previous business associations. Given Dior's dedication to fostering positive and respectful relationships with our partners, it has been determined that collaboration with Ms. Markle does not align with our core values. While Dior will not be pursuing a professional relationship with Meghan Markle, we extend our sincerest well wishes to her for all her future endeavors. We remain focused on upholding our commitment to excellence, offering exceptional products, and engaging in collaborations with individuals who share our principles and passion for the fashion industry. Reportedly, Dior is currently suffering from the supposed association with the Markles, LVMH, which controls Dior and other fashion houses, is owned by Bernard Arnold, who is currently on a royal's honors list. Bearing in mind, Wintour is a royal family supporter, I very much doubt many fashion houses, let alone Dior, will sign any contracts with the Markles. Think of all the talented ladies and men who front Dior. What the hell does Meghan and Harry bring to the table? Oh yeah, the title of fucking grifters. Even the crumpled suit Harry wore to the coronation was bought out of his own money. He did not have a contract with Dior. The Markles are desperate, and their PR is desperate, but the fashion houses are not. The Markles are putting out the stores of a Dior contract in their dreams. It seems that Dior's decision this time shows that they are on the side of the British royal family, and continue to express a desire to work with them rather than Harry and Meghan. You may not know this, but Dior has had a close connection with members of the British royal family, and it is measured to go beyond Dior's relationship with the Hackles. Christian Dior actually dressed Princess Margaret, daughter of a king, emperor, and sister of a queen, and who some have likened to the Diana of her time. Today, Dior's connection to international royalty endures via a network of special relationships. Queen Rania of Jordan turned to Dior Couture for both of her children's weddings this spring. Queen Mathilde of Belgium carries a Lady Dior. Princess Olympia of Greece, Princess Alexandra of Hanover, and Lady Amelia Windsor have all sat in the front row at Dior's shows in recent years. Being a friend of the house comes with its perks. Princess Caroline of Monaco and her sister and daughter, Charlotte Casigari, wear Chanel almost exclusively and attend their fashion shows around the world, while the brand in turn benefits from association and publicity. Rather than fronting big money advertising campaigns, as other Dior House ambassadors, such as Oscar winner Natalie Portman and tennis stars Emma Racanu do, perhaps Meghan's passion for Dior will work its way into one of those more informal arrangements. When celebrities and influencers are ubiquitous, the prestige of dressing royalty will always carry a cash. Obviously, these are bullshit stories about Dior and Hackles, 
because Megan wore a bag every influencer had and wore some clothes she couldn't afford without being married to a prince. They wouldn't sign either of them, but maybe throw a discount here and there. Celebrities often get things made for them, but aren't signed to a contract. They get bags gifted to them. It's their people that are pushing this nonsense. The same people couldn't afford Dior if they sold all their worldly possessions. It's such a desperate headline grab for something that will never happen. Especially because she's always going on about how she's more than just the clothes she wears and blah, blah, blah. Lastly, not sure how a Dior campaign would be part of the mission statement of compassion in action, paraphrase, except getting compassion from Kim Jones, Dior Om CD, because they need money. Harry enjoys wearing their clothes and has kept his mother's friend's link at the house or whatever. Seriously, this man doesn't care about clothes. Between Diana's death and currently, there's been several head designers and creative directors change, from Gianfranco Ferry to Galliano, until that incident, to Raph Simmons to now. It was so obvious that this was just her team starting a rumor to distract from Spotify. And I think there's an additional angle too. Lots of normal people see these articles. The association with Dior is made, and it's not like an average person will follow up a month later and be like, did that Dior deal for Megan ever come through? Let me find out. So for that reason, I'm glad Dior is letting it be known immediately that this is bogus. I bet this stunt will backfire a bit for Meg, though, because before Dior was probably happy to provide clothes for publicity, like they did with Harry recently, he may have paid for it, no idea, but given the Instagram post from Dior, it seems reasonable that it was gifted. I bet they'll think twice about dressing them now because of this. It was such a stupid story. One of the reasons these brands give deals and their products to celebs is so that they can wear them to events to advertise and promote. A lot of celebs attend events and award shows, have massive followings on Instagram, and actually have an audience to promote to. What events do Megan and her pet husband even attend? The only events she's attending are events where she has to buy her own awards, and she has now shown that she is absolutely okay with faking a catastrophic car chase for attention after picking said award. She is, to put it bluntly, not worth it. She is far too messy. Harry's suit was only promoted by Dior because the coronation was a huge event, with every camera in the world pointed toward it. He managed to mess that up because it wasn't even ironed properly. Megan's manifesting is just embarrassing. She needs a real job. No doubt she was seething in jealousy because her husband was promoted by Dior. She's a clown. One insider shared, I don't think WME is responsible for her crazy manifesting. From personal observation of some contracts and sales of businesses, more often than not, there's an NDA required just to be involved in the negotiations. If Dior had actually been speaking with reps for her and she leaked this, she'd be authoring her own blacklisting. WME and Dior would both be livid. She was quiet for a brief period after the Variety article about WME, but all her old behaviors have resumed. The planting of pieces from all angles, i.e. poor Harry's wife, divorce is imminent, and Harry to be first gentleman in few outlets on the same day, the pap walks, the attempts to solicit freebies, and the desperate pretending to be out of touch with celebrities who have never spoken to her scream Rachel at Hotmail to me. What do you think when Dior officially cut off rumors of a collaboration with Meghan Markle? Let us know your thoughts below in the comment section. We hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this newsletter. See you in the next videos. Goodbye.